Hello friends, welcome to Jatai Academy. Today we're gonna to work on one of the classic foundational haircuts we all need to learn, a classic A-line. So let's get started. So to get started, I've taken a, a natural or center part, whichever stronger, to the crown, from the crown to the occipital bone, occipital bone straight to the mastoid, the bump right behind the ear. So that's gonna section off all the hair in the nape of the head, which is gonna give me my foundation to build my shape off of. Because A-line, it can be as simple as just combing everything down and cutting it blunt into a longer shape in the front shoulder and the back. Or you could graduate the back of it slightly underneath and have everything fit solidly on top of that. So because my, my model has this pokey kind of hairline that tends to stick out, I think I'm gonna graduate this real tight in the back, just very, very low, then build my, my A-line shape on top of it. So I'm gonna start right in the nape with a small pie section right in the center. Not too big, not too small, just enough hair that I can control. Pin all that out of the way to keep it clean through here. And then I'm gonna start with my Osaka scissors. Now the Osaka scissor I have is the five and a half inch. The short one I like because it's easy for me to crop in real tight without the longer scissor fighting me. And this one has the ergonomic handle, so it's easier for me to, to get it deep into my hand and it's easier for me to control when I'm dealing with very, very small amounts of hair like this. So from here, I want to comb this 90 degrees from the head plant my knuckles right at the base of the hairline and bring my fingers out. And then I'm gonna to try to visualize at what type of angle that I wanna create for my A-line. So here it kind of gives me an idea of where it's gonna be in the back and what that angle is gonna be going towards the front. So I wanna visualize that, go through, angle my fingers there, and then go through, let me see if I can do this in a way that you can see it. Comb straight out 90 degrees from the head, angle my fingers, there's the angle that I want to cut, and cut that nice and tight into the nape. Now I'll comb that down and I'll start to see where my bottom line is and where my graduation ends and go from there. If I need help visualizing, I can go through, comb this down and cut this straight across at whatever line I think I wanna have. And then I can see if I have any graduation and how I need to modify that first cut if I need to modify it at all. And I think I'm gonna take a little more right there at the top. Now I'm not worried about it being too perfect right now. I just wanna make sure I get a nice general length and a general shape that we can start building our line upon. The next piece, I'm going to pivot from the center to the corner of the hairline. And I do that so that when I go to the opposite side, I know that I can take the exact same sections on both sides. I'm gonna comb this into the center right here. There's my line. Cut that down. And through. Comb that through. I can clean up my line here if I'd like. Comb that through. Don't worry too much about it being perfect. Take my next section through there. There's my line. Cut that down and through. Now you can start to see my line really starting to develop and where the graduation is just gonna be right in the center. Comb this out. There's my line. Look at that and through and say, okay, 
there's my line, is that the angle that I want? If it tends to be too shallow, I'm not worried about it because the next section, when I get up here, I can really make that fit a lot longer in the front. If it's too steep, then what's gonna happen? So if I try to make some real steep thing, you know, it's gonna be really long in the front and really short in the back, what will tend to happen if it gets real steep is that it will separate right here in this section front to back and it's not gonna have a smooth line. So it's almost like from the mastoid down, it can't be too extreme of an angle or it doesn't really fit in and tuck in behind the ear. So now we're gonna do the same on the other side. Back here to the center, to the corner of the hairline so I can match on both sides. Comb straight out. There's my guide. There's my line underneath. Cut that up and through. And this is what makes this haircut so difficult is because on one side, I'm cutting down. On the other side, I'm cutting up and the head and shoulders is getting in the way of what scissor angle that I want. So at most, what matters the most is that the line at top of the graduation is even on both sides. The graduation underneath is easy for me to clean up and start to fine tune as I need to. So I'm not worried about the graduation being perfect. I just wanna make sure that my links on top that's creating that beveled line going forward are the same. All right, next section, straight over. Let's pin that out of the way. Back and through. There's my line. If I need to, I can cut this line underneath, but I'm not worried about it. Last section. Last section here, there's my line. Cut that down and through. And now we can start to see the angle of our bob and we can see where the graduation is hitting. So we'll make sure that that's even and then we'll continue on to the next section. Okay, so I've got the underneath where my graduation is tucked in nice and even on both sides. I've gone and taken the next section, which is two flat sections of the head. So I measure it this way. I'll lay the comb against the head where it's flat. That counts as the width of one section. I have the next one. So from that point, I can take exactly the same angle that I had underneath from the occipital to the mastoid to the drop crown to the top of the ear. I'll split that in half. Now I have a section on each side and then my next section on each side. So I have one, two, and three sections all, all separated. I'm gonna start right in the middle. Start right in the middle. I will pivot. Pivot, so I have a nice triangular section right in the center of the head. I will find where my graduation was, hold this down at zero elevation, cut that straight across. So now I start to build up my strong weight line that's gonna create my A-line bob. The next section, straight over. Whatever angle that this is, that's how I'm pulling the hair. Find your guide length from underneath, cut that through. The next piece, whatever the angle is here, that's the angle that I'm gonna hold and follow. There's my line underneath. Cut that right through. So now here, as I hold the head straight up, we've got a nice tucked in hairline. We got a nice solid line building up towards our length in the front for our A line.
After I've cut the other side, I want to check, make sure they're even. I got a little bit more on the left, which is fine. I will go back, clean that up, and just keep going until I get everything like I want. At this point, I'm just going to continue doing the same thing. Start with a small piece in the middle, follow my parting, keep everything held down at low or zero elevation, and just continue on until I've cut all the hair one length with it being a little longer in the front. Now you can really start to see my shape building up shorter in the back and longer in the front. Now as I'm going through and checking my line to make sure both sides are as even as possible, I want to aspire for perfection, but I can't demand it of myself because every section you do is going to have slight flaws to it and there's no way around it. So while I want to do like perfect, 100%, I know I can't do it, but I can focus on the things that are more important than the things that are not important. So the first thing that is most important is that when I'm combing, I'm combing from the scalp all the way down to where I'm holding the section to cut it as smoothly and as evenly as possible. That is more important than how technically perfect my cut line is. Because if I can't even comb everything clean from the scalp all the way to the down, to the down, to the, the section, it doesn't matter how perfect my cut line is because everything's going to be inconsistent. So that's the first thing. The next thing is when I'm going to cut the section and I've got everything combed nice and clean down, I have zero tension until I go to plant my hands and then I have maximum tension that I can get. From here you notice my fingers are still turned perpendicular to the hair and then I move my body to fit to, so that I can cut the section of hair. Right? I am not moving the section of hair to make it easy for me to cut. So that's why I'm sitting down and I got her raised up so that as I comb this section straight down, I get everything perpendicular and I can get everything clean. The more that I do this, the more inconsistent my result's going to be and the more it's going to flip and shift. So it's much more important to get the mechanics of applying the cut line than it is that my cut line is absolutely perfect. Because if the mechanics are applied well, then this will grow out well. It's inconsistent mechanics that make a haircut grow out real sloppy. So let's continue on and finish up. When dealing with the ear, there's, there's a lot of different ways to deal with it. When you have a real protruding ear that's it's very strong, it's going to mess up your line. So one way, one approach of many is when I comb the section, the way I'm going to cut it, I want to get everything as prepared as possible and as smooth and as even and as prepared. And then no tension here or as little as possible. Just release that right there and then go through and cut your line. So I'll use the scissor to push it in so that that section of hair that hangs over the ear is compensated for any sort of discrepancies that I may have by pulling it too tight over the ear and compressing it against the head. So afterwards, now when I comb this straight down and I look at it, I have this, this hook that sticks out. 
I'm not going to worry about that right now. I'm leaving this kind of safety net right here so that when it's dry, I can comb everything down in its natural fall and have a little bit of extra hair that I can go through and clean up and make sure that it's going to hang perfect when it does fall in its natural fall. Okay, last section here, and I just want to is evenly distribute all the hair in as close to its natural fall as possible. After I do that, I'll comb everything straight down, clean up anything that hangs over my blunt cut line. So the same thing on this section here, I want to comb in the same way I've been combing it over the ear as neutral and as even as possible, no tension, push underneath, then clean up anything that hangs over and follow my line from underneath. And I'm not going to worry about this little piece right here. We'll clean that up after everything is dry. So do the same thing on the other side and then I'm going to dry it and we're going to come back and fine tune it. So we've gone through and blown everything dry and got it nice and smooth. I want to go through and fine tune everything and just tighten it up. So it's one thing to be meticulously perfect about everything when you're cutting it wet, but there's going to be a certain amount of inconsistencies that are going to happen that you cannot create perfection wet. You have to cut it when it's wet and then you have to fine tune it when it's dry. So let's see, we're going to spin her around. Come on there, there we go, spin you around. Let's start in the back. The back looks pretty good. I just want to comb everything down in its natural fall and then just real lightly fine tune and clean up any inconsistencies that are going on through my line. What I want to avoid is using a lot of tension. So grabbing and pulling and creating tension. I want to just allow the hair to breathe and live and jump if it's going to jump. So I'll comb everything smooth, comb through, just hold it and then fine tune whatever doesn't look right to me. I can also just leave it in its natural fall like this, fine tune. Clean up the underneath there. It's looking pretty good. Comb everything down. Now, when I get to the side, let me get you out of the way here. When I get to the side where I was combing it and then using my comb to push in against the ear to give me a little bit of slop factor so I can clean that up afterwards. Now I want to do that. So let's raise her up. I'm going to comb everything straight down the way it's going to fall. Just get everything as smooth as possible. And as I look, come here, baby. As I look, I start to see where that little line was. It's far better if I have too much hair and need to clean it up than it is if I have a hole in it. So that's why I pushed it in. So it would leave me that extra hair. So when it's dry, I can clean it up here. I'll just comb down, hold it fine-tune anything that I need to through there. Make sure my line is nice, smooth. There's that divot that I left. So just gently, methodically, patiently try to go through and clean that line up so that when they style it at home, I don't have a hole and I don't have a lump. Come here, baby. Now, 
Now I like to have a wide range of scissor because sometimes when I'm getting around in areas, I can't get the scissor exactly like I want. So it's better for me to have a longer blade. So I will grab my Tokyo scissor. This is a six inch scissor. So it's easier for me to get in into these areas. I can support against the head, cut around the front here, anything that hangs out without the shortness of it causing me problems. And I just keep working it until I'm bored of working on it or I start to make it look worse and then I stop. But keep going until you clean that up as much as you like. Same thing on the other side and then we'll check the end result. This is one of those haircuts that requires a tremendous amount of practice on the fundamentals. Just combing clean, cutting clean and just repeating that over and over and over again because if you're inconsistent it's going to really show at the end result. So just practice. I hope that this video helped. Check out the Jatai Academy. There's, a, there's all kinds of stuff over there that will help you in your haircutting journey. And we will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching.